Surveillance video captures the moments leading up to the attack of a man riding a scooter in South Baltimore, part of a disturbing weekend trend across the city. Now City Council Member Eric Costello, who represents that district, is laying out his frustration in a fiery letter to the mayor's office. Fox 25's Rebecca Pryor joins us live with his response tonight. Rebecca? Well, according to Councilman Costello, that attack is just one of 49 incidents like it that took place across the city this weekend. He is now demanding that this troubling trend be addressed and those suspects arrested. Another harrowing overnight attack in South Baltimore caught on home surveillance camera. After nearly hitting a man riding a scooter, two cars trapped the victim and several suspects jump out, demanding he hand over his phone and wallet. The victim agrees, then darts off as the suspects follow close behind. I didn't think somebody would rob somebody on a scooter. It makes me feel uh, like I need to be thinking twice about where I am in, in the evening. It comes on the heels of a similar crime spree last week. <laughs> BPD reporting half a dozen carjackings and armed robberies stretching from Canton <laughs> to Federal Hill, where a woman screams. It's scary. Following an attack on an innocent dog walker rattling residents. They need to come up with a tangible plan to solve this, and it needs to happen quickly. And Councilman Eric Costello. BPD wasn't aware of of that incident. Agrees. It's wildly frustrating is that um, citizens across the city are being terrorized and BPD needs to do something about it. Costello criticizing BPD for a lack of investigating, claiming after the most recent attack taking place directly beside the highly secured Federal Reserve Bank, detectives never following up with the victim or searching for surveillance video. It's ridiculous that no one bothered to reach out to either of them to get camera footage. There are HD cameras all over the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond campus. In a fiery letter sent to Baltimore's Deputy Mayor for Public Safety, Anthony Barksdale, Costello writing, quote, these violent individuals need to be arrested and this pattern of crimes needs to be ended. Although his trust, a tangible plan will be put in place. I'm confident in Deputy Mayor Barksdale, but I've lost confidence in the administration's ability to manage this problem. Shaky, along with many of the residents he serves. I have spent every waking moment over the last five days fielding phone calls, text messages, and emails from residents who don't feel safe. People are scared to come out of their home in the middle of broad daylight. That is insane. We're tired of all the talk and no action. Now tonight, I also reached out directly to Deputy Barksdale and BPD asking how they plan to address this crime trend and if they have any response to Costello's concerns. But as of news time tonight, I have not heard back. Reporting live in Baltimore City, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.